Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about some formulas some formulas related to uh, problems regarding calendar problems sorry problems regarding calendar okay so so let's talk about the problems regarding calendar and in this case uh, the problem related to years actually days time and years so it's all about those things now before going into the discussion uh, you want to know some important concepts about it one important concept is about the concept of leap year which is very very important you are going to find many questions regarding leap year because normal calculations of uh, of year and day is very easy but when once leap year is added it's becoming complicated now the second thing you need to understand is the concept of odd days and you probably want to calculate the number of odd days in a particular given time right so so let's talk about them what is leap year leap year so a year is said to be leap year if it is if it is divisible by 4 so so the normal situation is if we take if you take a year let's say 1948 simply take this year now what we can do we just take the last two digits and we multiply it with 4 if the multiplication can be done without uh, without having any 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 uh, remainings then you can tell this year to be a leap year okay and in this case it is dividable with 4 and no nothing remains so this is a leap year similarly if you take if you're talking about 2004 the last two again dividable with 4 so obviously it's a leap year now let's say 1676 same things in the 1676 in this case also it is dividable the 76 is dividable with 4 so it is also a leap year in that sense so in all of this all of them are leap year because you take last two digits and if you divide it 4 without ha having any remainings it's a leap year now another concept is that if you can divide a whole year with 4 that thing is also be calculated uh, as a leap year right for example 400 the year 400 is completely dividable with 4 so it's a leap year year 800 is a leap year 1600 is a leap year and so on okay now now the other years which are not dividable with a 4 completely or the last two digits of the year is not divided with, dividable with 4 is definitely not a leap year like 2001 is not a leap year 2002 is not at all a leap year 2003 is not at all a leap year and so on right so this is it now once you understand the concept of leap year now a particular year which is not a leap year is termed as termed as ordinary year so ordinary year is definitely a not not a leap year okay so there are some years which are leap year there are some years which are ordinary year which are non leap year okay so normally after each three ordinary year there are there comes a leap year because that's a normal process right after three ordinary year so three ordinary year then we'll encounter one leap year that's the concept you can see 2001 is ordinary year 2002 is another ordinary year 2003 is also another ordinary year after that once we get 2004 that should be a leap year and that is a leap year remember so that's the concept of ordinary year and leap year now once we uh, understand it we left it aside then we must talk about odd days and the concept of odd days now odd days means the number of days present in a year after putting everything in a complete weeks for example if we are talking about let's say uh, for a given period of time let's say we are given uh, 22 days now they ask you wh what is the number of odd days or odd days in this 22 day period now normally if I divide this 22 with 7 because uh, one week contains 7 days so one complete week is consisting of 7 days so if we divide 22 with 7 it will give us 3 uh, 3 weeks because you know 7 into 3 it gives us 21 days and we left up with 1 day 
so this one day which is left over after completing the full week is called the odd days right similarly in a year or in a given period of time there is a number of odd day present which is not a part of the full week which is just remaining to form a new week right that day is called the odd day in this case the number of odd day is 1 now similarly if we talk about an ordinary year remember an ordinary year consists of 365 days 365 days an ordinary year so if that's the ordinary days 365 days contains 20, 52 weeks 52 weeks plus one day so every ordinary year contains one odd day only okay now if we talk about a leap year remember a leap year consists of one day extra of the ordinary year because ordinary year is having 365 days a leap year is having 365 plus one day extra that is the February uh, one day because normally the ordinary year contains the February month at 28 but the leap year contains 29 days so leap year contains one day extra now 366 days in a year so in this case it, it has complete 52 complete weeks plus two days so in a leap year there are two odd days right that's how you can calculate odd days or the number of odd days in a particular given time it can be a given year it can be uh, duration of days and so on right once you understand to calculate uh, whether a year is a leap year or not or to calculate the odd days in a particular given time it will be super easy for you to solve any problems related to calendar and time and uh, and day durations okay so so now let's say in 100 years so let's say so they give us let's say 100 years okay in 100 years how many odd days are there we need to calculate it how can we calculate that now we know in 100 years every after every three years there is a leap year so normally in 100 years there should be 76 ordinary years plus 24 leap years 76 ordinary years plus 24 leap years there right so in this case in 76 ordinary year you know in each ordinary year there should be one day one odd day so 76 into 1 plus in 24 leap year there should be two odd days ultimately it will give us the number of odd days in 100 years and the number of odd days here is 124 odd days okay so in this case 124 odd days now you know we can't say this 124 as odd day because we need to form weeks an odd day number is definitely less than 7 because if it is more than 7 that can form a week right isn't it so for that reason the number of odd days total we get we need to divide it with 7 and we need to look for the leftover so if we divide it with 7 it will give us five so seventeen weeks and five days left so ultimately five days left so five odd days will be there right so in hundred years there will be five odd days right so in this way you can calculate the number of odd days that is present right so in two hundred years similarly you can calculate so in two hundred years there will be repetition of five days so five into two give us ten seven days form a week so last C will be the odd days similarly in 300 years the number will be 5 odd days in each year into 315 and divided with 7 give us uh, 1 so 1 odd day will be there similarly you can calculate the number of odd days in 100 200 300 400 and many different years in that case right so that's the way to can calculate the odd days and the leap year concept and I hope that's helpful thank you